Welcome back to some Akuma MC Skyblock. I have been doing a little bit of AFKing, and I actually went ahead and did level up one of my perks, the Hopper Limit, because I wanted to make sure I could have a bunch of chests. I guess this isn't a, the best example, but it uh, normally fills up pretty freaking fast. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and actually sell some of this, and I was going to not sell the half chest, but there's no reason not to. I can actually just do this. Obviously, I would love to get some automation going, but the chests are so expensive. I could almost afford a rare. Oh, I need, I need a little more. <gasps> Give me more money. So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to start off by making a quick change to this so that I can get this going. And then I'm just going to put my auto sell chest. Um, I actually want to set it somewhere kind of in the middle of the chunks. Yeah, right there works. Now, the reason I want to do that is because it's going to make life a lot easier for me. And you might be wondering, well, how's he going to do that? Well, that's simple. I pick this up for one and I slap it right there. Now, everything's going to go into there. And I want to go ahead and actually unlink you, link you to this chest. Then I want to go ahead and unlink you and link you to this chest as well. Everything's going to go in there. One other thing I just realized I forgot to do, which means I do need to make a quick change about this and put it there. And then I actually do need to get a chest, a normal chest, because I can at least make this a double chest. That way, if it takes a while to sell, it'll, it won't, it won't overflow. I can put down another legendary hopper now and actually add more spawners into this. But the, I have a, a high risk of making it overflow. Um, all of this I'm going to deal with later. I'm not going to deal with it right now. I've been waiting to place these down for so long because I didn't really have the space for them. I want to put the spiders at the tippity top, and then I want to put the, uh, more spiders, and then I want to go and put the iron golems below them just to make sure that they actually... Did I say goblins? Iron golems below them to make sure that they actually do their thing. Oh, I have to level up my IS perk, don't I? I'm at my spawner limit. Why is it not up? Oh, it's finally updating. It's realizing that I have them, and now it's going to be like, Ah, you've done it! You champion! You absolute legend! I want to try this with chicken spawners. As I have a stack of uh, two stacks, uh, two stacks and four of them, I want to see if they might be better or not. Because if they kill them in one hit, it could be very good. I probably should have placed those guys down last. Let me just break that so everything falls down for a minute. It takes them one, two... One, two, three. To be able to kill them. Why are they not? Why why are they not? Why are they, why are they not? Two, three. It's the same amount of hits. Two, yeah, about the same amount of hits. It's like two to three hits. In that case, I'm just gonna stick with the better guys. It used to be a lot better. They used to one-shot them. Maybe when you get enough of them, they do. And it made it insane for gems. Let's see what we get from these, because if I'm not mistaken... Our next quest is to do that. Enchant at Warp Enchanter. Hello, I'd like to enchant books. Give me good things. I also should probably grab out my uh, my hoe so I can utilize it. So we got XP Finder Gardener, which only break grown crops. We don't really need that because I'm going to get a much better farm set up. Probably today, actually. A better chance of getting books is always great. Give me more. Give me more. Spawner Finder, Book Hunter, and Speed. Obviously, Book Hunter. And I'm going to try and slap a Crop Crusher on there, too. I don't know how it's going to work, though. Not sure. And then next, we have to get your farming skill to level 3. I mean, I'm not really getting any crop crusher procs. I really hope it works well with the auto replant. It doesn't mess anything. Am I already level 3? That's insane. Two money pouches and two XP pouches. Um, I also kind of want to... I don't have any seeds. That's okay. I want to go ahead and actually set up a little bit of a farm. Because I don't have a farm on my island currently. I'm going to get to kill 50 pigs just so I can let them kind of spawn in a little bit, I think. I think that's a good idea. So, our next quest is to actually place down an airdrop. I'll go and place down the one that it gave us. I'm gonna place down some of these spawners. So we got this guy, which can go there. This guy, which can go there. This guy, which can go there. Yeah, I'll build it out this way. I feel like that's a good area to build it. So I'll place these guys about right here so they can start spawning in. And then the rest of my spawners, I'm gonna go and place down below. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a block there. And that should actually be a good start to it. And now I wanna turn fast place on. Because all I have to do now is uh, <clears throat> all i have to do now is make sure it's turned on for dirt and do that oh i didn't mean to do that oh man okay well i made a mistake is this gonna be enough i mean yeah 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 <clears throat> yeah, yeah. It's, gonna be, it's gonna be enough i mean i'd extra there we go beautiful eventually i'll probably add more layers but for now i think that's a good start we've got a basic farm the only other thing i need to do is add water to it and this is my least favorite part because of the speed which i'm actually going to go ahead and do te toggle enchant 
speed. I want to toggle that off because I don't want it because it just it just annoys me. Oh, I'm almost done. Yes. And now for the moment of truth, but I need to buy a lot more seeds. So we needed about like over six stacks to fill this. So I'm just going to buy 12 stacks of seeds. And because I don't need my tools currently, I'm going to move them out of the way again. And uh, let's see how this works. Does it not? I mean, I, I did turn it on, right? I see. Ah, okay, okay. That's actually pretty cool. I didn't realize how it worked. You do it like, um, like, like that. That's pretty sick. All right, well, then let's do it like this. This is gonna make literally building farms a thousand times easier. Because you can do this for literally every type of crop. Did I even get to the point that I needed to? No, because I need to place a chunk hopper first, which is perfectly fine. I have a chunk hopper in here, which I'll go ahead and just collect the drops. There's that done. We got three pig spawners. Let's place those down. Was that... Our next quest, or no? Our next quest was to actually, um... No, it was to have them play. Oh, I see. There we go, and we get some grinding books. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna work... Oh, uh, wor does Bowman work on here? Yes, it does, actually. So my next set of quests, uh, was to kill pigs, right? Yeah, and a lot of other things, which some of it I'm not gonna be able to do for a while. Before I do that, I'm gonna warp to the Enchanter. I guess Archaeologist finding gems is pretty good. I don't know if I'm going to throw it on my sword, though. I already have max sharpness. Smite just sucks. Book Hunter all the way. Well, by default, Treasure Hunter. Level you up uh, to level 5, I think, is good. It's it's slightly better. It's enough that I don't waste a bunch of these. Now I've got to kill some pigs. We got everything leveled up. I've got to kill a bunch of these guys. And then I'm going to do like a total of 500 grinding actions, which I'll probably just kill blazes for it. Oh, there's that done already. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Uh, so here's the story. I was waiting here to trade some of this some of this stuff over to my friend Cypher And then I just accidentally <laughs> Completed the quest. What is next on my agenda? I, I don't really know. Um, uh, it was sell 5,000 worth of things Um, here's the thing. I'm pretty sure if I do this it doesn't count But I can take things out of this and they'll count. Give me I mean, I mean how much is this? It's got to be enough, right? Oh, that's already enough <laughs> What is next? I guess the mining world's next And we gotta mine a hundred ores Sell ores, unlock the iron mine, a bunch of stuff, which I'm going to go ahead and do. You know what? Yeah, we'll do a full-on mid-video opening just before we get into the mining. So let me go ahead and place down 10 epic airdrops, and then after that, I've got 5 ultimate, which is absolutely insane. Did I just get a freaking carnage crate from that? Wait, that is insane. Let me put this up for a minute. Let me put down all my spawners. I got some villager spawners, some silverfish spawners, some spider spawners, which are over here. So for normal pets, it matters what the rarity is. Because you can see this guy's a legendary and this guy's a rare and it's a much higher booster. You can see that with the common and the rare as well. But for these guys, it doesn't matter. Six ultimate airdrops now. That's beautiful. And I did get some keys from that as well. Which I'm not really going to mess with. I'm going to let them gather up. There's so many spawners and more keys. Oh, I love keys though. That's another VK cluster. Okay, more spider spawners, more iron golem spawners. I've got two XP boosters, which are both a l roughly the same. And now for the carnage crate. These are insane. We got some more consumables, value tickets, keys, experience levels, money, more keys, and 15 normal pet eggs. The last thing I have left is my three robot builders, which uh, I'm going to go and see. Fight for my amusement, you... Oh. Oh, wait, a fishing robot, it's insane! Let me go ahead and open up these last two. I should probably wait and see what I get before I, you know, do anything. Another fishing robot. Okay, last one. What do I get? Let me guess, fishing robot? A mining robot. I guess I need to do that again. Well, before I start mining, and unfortunately I'm gonna waste my uh, my boosters, that's okay. I need to get some of these. Um, Archaeologist is actually insane for this, so I want that. I think Chain Strike's really good. I don't know if I'll end up utilizing it or not. Efficiency. Efficiency is my absolute go-to enchant by far. I want to reactivate speed now. Oh yeah, because I have- I forgot I have the- the mining rage on. I just got- Oh, I didn't- I thought I got kicked. I already leveled up the iron. Oh my god. I'm already almost full inventory. And just made 170 some thousand. Wait, this is crazy. What the hell? I flew through 100 blocks, 250 ores, and unlocking the iron mine? in like five seconds. This is absolutely absurd. Like I knew progress was turned up for this season. I didn't know it was like uh, this because this feels a little insane. Oh, my mining rage finally ended. This is what it normally looks like, guys. This is what normal mining looks like. I will throw my uh, beautiful enchants in here in the order I would like to throw them on. Now about this point is when I would recommend going to slash gem shop and picking yourself up 
a gold satchel, which I'm gonna go ahead and do. Oops. <clears throat> which I'm gonna go ahead and do. What else is in here? Oh, other... Well, other satchels make sense. There's key satchels? That's actually kind of sick. You'll see that... First of all, let me claim my reward. And you'll see after that that the, uh, the next level, I believe, for an upgrade is 40 to unlock the diamond mine. That's a long way away. I pretty much never reach that, so I'm not really worried about it. I want to actually go ahead and set this guy up. I've been slacking on that. I want to go and get them set up. Of course, I need to set up my own mining area so I can make them better, but that's for the future. And then the only other, other, other thing I need to do, just to make it uh, a little easier on me, is... Wait, you're not supposed to... I did this wrong. And then for the water, you place it on this side. And then for the lava, I gotta go all the way to the bottom. I gotta make sure I place it in every single splot... Uh, splot? Spot. Or uh, it won't work. Perfect. There we go. Now, right now, they're not gonna be the best because I don't really have that crazy of a of a setup because it's all cobble, but that's okay. I think this is where I'm gonna call this one. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did and you haven't yet, leave a like, subscribe, join the server. All the information down in the description. Akuma is the number one skyblock and prison server, I promise you, of 2024. And I'll see you guys in the next one.